a, a, not a very big male, actually. The one that's standing looking towards us is some, also some females. He's got a bit of growing to do. I've definitely seen some eland that are almost double his size. So that's the female, the one with the long, slender horns. And if you go to the right, you can actually quite nicely see the difference because he's standing so close to the rest. His horns um, are a lot thicker. This one on the right-hand side. And then he's also a little, lot more robust. And his color is starting to change, too. See how it's going more of a darker gray rather than that tawny brown color. Uh, again, like we see with lions, you know, their manes, most lion manes, go dark with age as they start to produce more and more testosterone. The same thing happens with the eland. Aren't they beautiful though? Largest antelope in the world. Amazing creatures. I'm always so um, astounded by the, the way that they can adapt to so many different areas. So you can find uh, eland in the Eastern Cape, which is the thicket biome, quite high rainfall. And you can find them out here in the Mara, and then you can even find them in arid regions. Uh, they're able to adapt quite nicely. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that big dewlap as well. You can hear the clicking as well on the knees which is an interesting thing. Uh, the amount of times I've tried to research why eland knees click like that, nobody really knows, unfortunately. There's many theories behind it. Some say communication. I don't agree with communication. I think it's involuntary. Some say it's the tendon snapping over the knee, and I'm sure there are many other theories. It'll be exciting uh, when one day somebody comes up with the actual answer. Obviously, as technology advances, we're going to get more and more answers from nature. So I definitely look forward to that. Isn't that great? All their heads down, grazing. And they're exceptionally athletic as well. If you look at them, you think, well, those things can't run fast. They definitely wouldn't be able to jump high. I've seen an eland jump massive heights before, and um, they probably jump just a little bit less than what a kudu can jump. Kudu are exceptional high jumpers. But they can move when they want to, and they're extremely agile. There we go, that male knight. Let's see if he's going to do a phlegm and grimace. He might. Look this way. Look at us. No, he doesn't want to look at us now. But you saw that, that female urinated, and that boy charged over. There's obviously a couple of younger bulls in this herd. They don't look particularly massive and dominant. And he's going over to check to see if she's coming into estrus. Is he going to go after her again? No, it doesn't seem to be too interested at all. Just checking. But like I said, they can get a little bit bigger than this. I saw a massive eland bull the other day who was sitting up on the mountain row. He was huge. He's almost double the size of these bulls. 